breakfast this reminds me of my childhood my dad used to make us this tea when we were little and my mom would get so mad because it has a little bit of caffeine in it and he would make it with cream and honey and these little tea sets that we had oh my gosh that's so cute and he would always make it around christmas at this time of year breakfast should be spe as special as this tea is here that's so cute Finishing my morning meditation. Welcome back to Vlogmas day eight, nine, 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 nine. I just wrote, oh my God. My voice is like going away because I just did my Wim Hof, so sometimes that happens, but let's draw a card together. Set the tone for the day, okay. Okay. 10 sisters of light. You've been here before, lived many lifetimes. Your soul has learned skills in past lives and developed abilities and talents. It's time to reawaken and reclaim those past life gifts. Quan Yin's grace, protection, and assistance help you now to release past life wounds so you may bring past life powers to aid your present life purpose. I keep getting that card. I really do, you guys. I've probably gotten it like five times in the past life few weeks um very interesting it's like making me think like why do i keep getting this card but anyways i love this deck the kuan yin oracle i'll link it down below it's a great little pocket deck i love doing it at the end after i do my breath work i feel really clear so i love to do it then um that tea, tea just seeped too long but it was good at first um I feel like I never tell you guys what I'm wearing, so I'm wearing sweats because I have been wearing sweats like all the time lately, just because I've been in such like a nesting and cozy mood, but I kind of want to like tuck this in. This sweatshirt is the Lululemon All Your Study. I love it. I'll link it down below. And then these sweatpants are just little um, thermals from TNA from Maurizia. But you guys, I have never been more ready for a coffee, so let's do this. Guys, that was such a fail. I was attempting to film for TikTok and YouTube at once. And all of a sudden, I was looking through the viewfinder and my coffee had like gone way over. I was like, oh shit. But there's just something about this. It just really does it for me. But anyways. Um, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update, but like not an update, but I was thinking about it. Also, no, I think let's first, we need to, I need a little bit of ice on my face. I actually put, um, oil on my skin today. It's not too sunny and this is an unpopular opinion. Some days I like to go outside with no sunscreen. I think it's really good to give your skin that vitamin D in the winter. Um, and so today is that day for me. But we're also going to film for TikTok while we're talking. Um, I still have my phone on airplane mode. That's what I do most mornings. Um, but I film for TikTok. So let's just. Wow. 
with TikTok, the thing is, is you only need like 0.7 of a second of a clip. So I just film a bunch of different angles and then I'll like decide. But anyways, okay, so what we were going to talk about is my employment status because you guys are probably like, literally, what is this girl doing? Like she literally is just like, she hangs out. She works sometimes at Lululemon. Like what's the deal? Um, so I'm going to tell you the deal. So as of right now, I, I don't want to be like, I'm figuring it out, but I am figuring out. Here's the deal. I know that I want to continue doing my social media and growing my social media. Obviously it's like barely profitable right now. Like I've made some money, but like not a sustainable dip. Um, and I'm seeing a lot more growth on TikTok, So like, that's like really great for me, but I also can't be like one of those people who's just like, I'm an influencer when like I need to make that money. But, um, I also am very confident in my drive and I think that I can do it. Um, if I'm being completely honest, if you think I'm a Looney Tune for saying that, then I don't know why you watch my channel <laughs> because you, we all know I'm a Looney Tune. So anyways, um, that's kind of like where I'm at, but so, okay. But in the meantime, I can do all the manifesting I want, but like I need to be realistic and I actually think I'm a rather realistic person, believe it or not. Um, and so I obviously need to be contributing financially to my life. Um, so I'm thinking like, here's the deal with the whole Uber fiasco. I hate to say this, but I just, and like, maybe, maybe I'll go back on this, but at this point in my, like right now, I just don't know that like a classic nine to five is going to, to, I don't need something to fulfill me because like I'm fulfilled by what I'm doing with my socials, but like, I don't know if I should do a couple different things. Um, I, uh, that's kind of what I'm thinking more towards is like going a couple different routes and dabbling in different things and like possibly working with some startups and helping them with their socials and things like that because um, I need to, like I, I'm just, I don't know, I'm, some people are, People, I'm just like, I don't want to tiptoe around this because people get like annoyed, but like, I also want to be straight up and like people hate when, I feel like people get so much hate when people say online, like, I just am not the type of person that can work a classic nine to five because that's such a classic thing to say. But like, I was raised by two entrepreneurs, like my parents, I didn't know a nine to five was the thing until I got into college. And I know that's insane, but I just didn't like, I pretty much all of my friends' parents were either entrepreneurs or doctors. Um, which, yeah, that's extremely sheltered, but that's how, that's how I grew up. So I'm just being like straightforward. And so I just like never really knew that that was like a reality. Um, and I'm sorry if this is coming off privileged. I am not trying to be, I'm just trying to be candid with you guys. Um, and so then when I found that out, I was like, oh, like, I don't know how I feel about that. And I still don't know how I feel about it. So I have been looking into, I just want, I'm trying to be a little bit vague because I don't want to say too much. Like I don't want to put too much on the internet, but um, I'm looking into different avenues. I'm figuring it out. I'm not just like living a life of, um, like I'm not just like la da da, you know? Um, so, I wanted to like kind of give you guys an update, but also like more updates to come on that. Obviously that can be kind of an elephant in the room for like anyone. Like I've even had some of my friends be like, what are you thinking? I'm like, you, like, you don't need to act like this is like, but I'm kind of acting like that, I guess. Like, I don't know, it's just unconventional, but um, also not like everyone I was talking to my friend Jess about this because after she graduated she like took some time to figure out what she wanted to do and she's from 
she's from um, London and she was like, it's so weird because here, taking time to figure out what you actually wanna do is so frowned upon. Whereas like all of my friends in London took a year after they graduated from university to like figure it out. And like, it's just so weird and I don't know. So anyways, that's how I'm feeling. It's definitely been like, anxiety inducing for me and like the thing is is for a while i was like i just don't know what i want to do and i was like and then like a a year i can't even talk because it is anxiety inducing for me but uh like a couple of months ago i was like what the fuck i do know what i want to do i want to do like my i want to do my socials but i want to do something with social media i love it like and I can do that, you know? So, yeah. But anyways, I need some lip balm on that note. <laughs> um, here's the deal. Today, we have a waxing, which is fun. Actually, like, it's actually not bad. If you live in Chicago, I'm gonna tell you, she's gonna get busier if people actually take my advice. You need to go to Jerry jerry is a woman at european wax center and i'm not even kidding you i think i told you guys this before if you're not getting waxes i would strongly encourage you to like fit it in unless it's like just not a possibility for you financially but i think like i i mean if you're paying to get your hair colored i would pay to get waxes instead that's what I would say. I just think it's the best thing ever. And I'll definitely do, um, this coffee is so good. I'll definitely do laser someday, but not today. Um, waxes are fine for me for now. And laser is just like another level. Like, um, I know some people who have done it who are my age. I don't know if my sister wouldn't mind me saying this. She's doing it. Um, I feel like she's not gonna like that I put that on the internet, but whatever. Um, she probably won't even find out. But anyways, um, but it's just not gonna happen for me right now. So, um, I love European Wax Center. I sponsor me European Wax Center because I actually found out about it through Gals on the Go, the podcast. I think I told you guys this. And then I um, was like, I don't know how I feel about it. I, to be completely like candid with you, I was like, is it kind of crusty because it's like a chain? Like, I don't know. And so then I went, the girl at the front desk was so nice. And I was like, okay, I think this is gonna be a good experience. And then Jerry came out, she's so cool. Like she makes the process. I think part of what makes is what makes is <laughs> makes waxes so uncomfortable is uh, just like if you have an uncomfortable waxing person, like in Iowa City, I had a girl who was, she was a little uncomfortable to be around, to be completely honest. And so like, I felt weird about it, even though I'm like very confident in my body and like very like, honestly, like that kind of environment just like doesn't make me uncomfortable usually. Um, but Jerry's so conversational, like I, I told her this last time I was like Jerry this is gonna sound so weird but I actually look forward to getting waxes because you are so great <laughs> and she was like no that doesn't sound weird at all it's all about just like creating a good environment it doesn't hurt like throw everything out the window that you've heard like literally it does not hurt I don't know why everyone says like oh my gosh waxes like literally before I got my first wax everyone told me all of my friends who had gotten them were like oh you're in for like it it hurts and i was so scared i was like oh my god oh my god and then i went in and though the girl was a little uncomfortable she was like realistic and she was like it doesn't hurt like you're gonna be fine like calm down take some deep breaths and anyways it's the best thing ever so i have that in a little bit um we're baking sourdough because what i'm thinking is i think i told you guys this too but Maybe I didn't. I don't even know. Like, I don't know who I tell things to because whatever. Um, 
but I am thinking of baking sourdough for like everyone in Chicago that I'm close with like around Christmas so like some of my friends here and then like I think I'm gonna bake I think we're going to Naperville this weekend that's part of the update too I'll tell you guys that later um but so I'm thinking of making like sourdough cinnamon rolls for Blake's parents and for us to have while we're there because I really want to try them um and things like that um and like a really like just like kind of customize it to people so like for example like I don't know for my friend Anna Lee I'll make her like a classic sourdough loaf because I know she loves avocado toast so like things like that um but so I think I'm gonna do that so I really want to hone in on like my recipe and then like hone in on getting this like produced because it can be such a long process but anyways so we were gonna go to Nobu tonight but Blake literally my boyfriend's addicted to work he <laughs> I was like is it is this a bad sign that you're not coming home until like 9 30 like come on anyways <laughs> but no it's just reality but he uh, was like honestly like we should just do something in tomorrow night like make some fish or something I was like go for some fish like, let's make some fish so I think I'm gonna go to Whole Foods and either get like salmon or sea bass or something like yummy some sort of a fish that I like so like probably sea bass honestly and then make like a Caesar salad <laughs> because I'm obsessed and homemade sourdough croutons and like just have a really nice meal here tonight and then tomorrow night I was like because we were gonna go to this place called Boca and I told you guys this and we had a reservation there but I really want to go to Nobu with Blake and then go to Boca with my mom um because my mom's coming next week I don't know what I tell you guys and what I don't sorry um but uh yeah my mom's coming next week for my birthday 23 oh my god I feel so old Ugh, that's crazy but anyways um I was thinking of going to Boca with my mom so then i was like let's go to nobu on friday blake and then leave saturday morning and go to naperville for saturday sunday like we can stay into monday or tuesday and then my birthday's wednesday and that's when my mom comes so i think that's what we're gonna do because honestly it's thursday and like i would rather just like do nobu like later tomorrow night like kind of late night not late night but like maybe get like an 8 30 reservation or something and have some good sushi also i'm working with this company helma um they they sent me product and i need to try it but i haven't eaten anything that i know will make me bloated yet so i'm like really excited to go get sushi because i'm gonna try the helma after because i know i'll be bloated um but just because i never eat like um soy sauce so when i do it's like major pregnant vibes um but anyway so that's how i'll be able to tell if helma works um okay i feel like i've been talking to you guys for yeah i have been talking to you for 15 minutes so this is going to be just a 15 minute clip of me talking but honestly someone told me actually i've heard have i've had a couple of you tell me that you guys like longer videos so i was like okay I mean whatever we're going for it but I am gonna read my book for a little bit I'm just taking it easy today um and honestly I might turn on my phone and just catch up on like texts and stuff just because it's already almost 10 a.m so just got back from Whole Foods so I have a mini little haul just some organic honey crisps um frozen blueberries halibut because we're gonna have some tonight baby carrots for Blake, stuff for juicing for me, and then we needed more avos. So I'm gonna put this stuff away and then I'm gonna prep my bread because it's time to cook. I'm making a seeded sourdough.
Okay, this is before I folded seeds all into it, so it'll have seeds all the way through it. Oh, and gee, it looks so good. Okay, my fridge was getting disgusting, so I just went through and cleaned it all out and organized everything, and it feels so much better, so that's good. I even organized the condiments. We have so many condiments, and I was like, okay, the hot sauces need to be somewhere, the dressings need to be somewhere, like the mustards need to be somewhere, so, so much better. Hi guys, so I've been working on my newsletter and i showered after lunch and then threw some curls in my hair and literally i've just been working on my newsletter because when i get in the mood to do it i like do it because i'm not always in the mood to write whereas like i'm always in the mood to vlog so yeah but i wanted to show you guys i have a little amazon haul first thing is a bread knife we literally haven't had a bread knife which is absolutely insane um because we've been eating bread since we moved in we just literally didn't have a bread knife and then finally when i got into baking sourdough i was like this is aggressive like i need to just get one so our knives are the brand mercer so i got the same brand of a bread knife i would really if you're like in the market for new knives i would really recommend mercer like they're really good knives and they're extremely affordable like you can spend thousands of dollars on knives and these ones are like for what you get like i think they're a pretty good price so we got that and then the next thing is also for bread making so sorry if this doesn't interest you but it's a scoring tool and the reason i needed one of these is because you score the top of the bread um before you bake it and you need like a razor type thing and i just didn't have anything that would work um, so I picked one up just on Amazon. It's literally like so simple. Like there's nothing too exciting about it. That's it. And then finally, I got this book, which I've heard amazing things about. I'll link it down below. So if any of you are experiencing similar things, if you watched my last vlogmas, you know that I am working to get my period back, um, like consistent, getting a period consistently. And so the period repair manual is a book that I bought, um, and I've heard really good things. So yeah, um, my camera's going to die. So I'm going to charge you guys while I finish my newsletter. Bon apple tea, my halibut. Black Current Beauty. I've actually had this one. It's really good. Nature's Berries Bold and Deep. A Cup of Purple Fruit and Dark Delight. Bedroom is so cozy. The window is open. I'm going to shut it because it's been open while I showered. But yeah, I'm so ready to get in bed. So thank you guys for watching this vlogmas. And I'll see you guys in the morning for the next day. I don't even know what day it is. Day 10, tomorrow. Almost a third, or actually over a third of the way.